Students at Rutland Town School will return from February break to new technology. Long are the days of bulky old projectors with translucent paper and colored markers teachers used at the front of class. Today they've been replaced with smart boards and tablets. Only three years ago we had a computer lab actually in this room with uh, laptops. Um, <clears throat> we quickly realized, or at least our tech committee felt, uh, that uh, having a lab, a computer lab, kind of limits what the real world is like. Uh, you know, everybody has, most people have some sort of uh, laptop device or or wireless device. Um, and in our our jobs and in our careers, um, we're not going to a room using technology. We're it's with us. It's 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 available at our fingertips. So the big transition has been trying to get more devices, uh, more technology into the hands of of students one-to-one -one or as close to one-to-one -one as possible. In addition to the technology in the hands of students, the school's invested largely in its infrastructure as well, now running on fiber for internet. The technology gives the kids uh, just inspiration. They have this great energy. Um, when I walk into the classroom to work with them and with their teachers, they're so excited about the different kinds of projects they're going to do. Technology really um, makes it so the world is at their fingertips. They're able to uh, view images online that they may never have seen before. They're able to visit places uh, in the world that they may not be able to travel to. Um, they're able to access information so easily uh, just with the tap of their finger. Every middle school class, 6th through 8th grade, have Chromebooks given to each student to use throughout the year. Rutland Town School is a Google Education School, which means its students have full access to everything the search engine has to offer. Uh, students can access all of the, the Google uh, uh, features, um, so they, they have email. Uh, it is limited and controlled by, by our domain. Um, they have access to all of the tools that, that Google provides, so uh, Google Docs, um, which is documents, uh, spreadsheets, forms, all of those kinds of, of, of Word type of, of programs. Um, they can also uh, look at and, and download different types of apps for learning. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of neat educational games that a lot of the teachers use, uh, but there's also different tools that they can download and use for a lesson or maybe a student wants to download something as a project. I mean, there's things from, you know, uh, uh, daily planners to um, different apps that you might use for math or science. Um, <clears throat> it also allows students to communicate with each other and with the teacher uh, beyond the school day and beyond the school wall, so we have a lot of students and teachers that um, <coughs> will uh, do assignments uh, that requires them to go on to their Google account and uh, complete their form or complete their document. They can share that with their teacher. Um, <coughs> I also have one teacher that, that uh, uses the uh, chat feature in the evening, so here we have a teacher that you know, is teaching all day and then while students are doing homework, they're, they're available online, so if a student has a question, about their homework, they can chat them and that teacher will get back to them. Just before the holiday break, the school board unanimously agreed to purchase more than $31,000 in smart boards, iPads, and Chromebooks. The goal is to make the influx of technology available to more students. You know, I think it's been really powerful to know that the school has invested in their students, in their teachers, uh, to help get, you know, the students on um, the right track and to really give them this this leg up in the world. The students are going to be using technology um, all throughout their lives and we want to prepare them for the future ahead and Rutland Town is really making sure that this is happening. Principal Boyin believes the technology is helping level the playing field a bit with students and is hopeful for their bright futures.